Salutations and greetings, I am Amora Bunny, and this is Salt, an indie survival game developed by Lava Boot Studios. The game pits you in a vast open box ocean dotted with islands all around. You need to travel to each island just to survive. Let's go ahead and get this started. Now this is going to be my first playthrough. Um, I've never been able to do this before. I've always wanted to. I've wanted to do this for like so long. But I've never had the the nerve because I'm pretty much an introvert. I don't like expressing myself too well. However, thanks to my good buddy, well, I consider my good buddy Markiplier, he has given me the strength and courage to do this for you all. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to the world of salt. This world is about exploration, adventure, and discovery. This book will help you get your adventure started. Now, I've already played through this a little bit. I already had a uh, chance to look through. Um, I've had some, I tried to do some recordings for this before, and it's the recordings kind of failed. I do know I need to get uh, a new system set up. I need to, I'm trying to invest into a, a DSLR camera to record my ugly mug and also a sound system instead of my microphone here. I tried to use my iPhone, but there's some major syncing issues. Let me pull up my book so you guys can get a little bit of familiarization. To the person unknown to me, I happened upon you laying here while I was searching this island. I give you a few hard shakes, but you did not respond at all. I thought that I would leave you this message in the event that you would eventually wake. I made a stop at it. Okay, I'm done with that. While foraging, I ran upon an unlocked chest with a few materials in it. By the looks of you, I found it strange that the chest was yours. I left its contents untouched. Basically, that guy is a huge douche nozzle. I mean, you're going to find somebody laying unconscious on an island, probably butt naked. I believe I am butt naked. And you're not going to help me, you know, like take me off the island, at least drag me to some provisions. Nah, this guy's a huge dick. If I ever find this strange person, I'll be certain to kill him. However, in this game they developed, it's supposed to be very relaxing except for the occasional pirate thus far. So there's no zombies, there's no creepers that are going to pop out of nowhere. It's not like Minecraft. I mean, there is crafting. I can't... I'm looking at this tree right now. I can't punch it to get any kind of wood or anything. I have to scrounge for fallen tree branches on the ground to craft my stuff. Right now, I'm trying to find this chest that this douche decided not to drag me over to. No, no, we're just going to take our sweet-ass time, write you a pretty little note, and be on our way. Needs to say I'm going to murder this asshole. Here we go. Now, I like to roleplay a little bit. I like to think that I am a pirate lord that... Uh, my crew has mutant against me. I'm going to blame two people. There are two people from my past um, video game experiences. A Schmidt and Steve. And the synopsis of this roleplay is that Schmidt and Steve have a little thing going on together. And they decided to uprise and revolt against me. Those bastards. And all because I decided to call them out on their shenanigans. What kind of shenanigans you say? Well, there's a time and place for everything. If you want to be in a relationship with another dude, hey, that's cool. That's a new world, whatever. Us pirates, we do it all the time. Like I said, there's a time and place. And the place is not on top of the deck for everybody to see. And by God, it is certainly not supposed to be on the poop deck. That is not why they call it the poop deck. Uh, I don't even want to get into it. It's... One thing that is amazing, I mean, the graphics do appear kind of, yeah. I love it so far. I mean, this is a, a small studio, any game, who's developed this. You'll notice that as you get farther away from the islands, the waves get bigger. 
so relaxing. You may not be able to see it. I have to hold down the button and I can steer this sailboat. Well, the sail raft, I should say. Around to my viewing pleasure. Now, the idea behind this game is you traverse all the different islands. You gather provisions. There's supposed to be merchants, but I haven't encountered any yet. That's why there's gold pieces. The game still is in the alpha stages. They have it on sale on Steam Early Access. I believe I got it for $15. So I'm pretty sure the developer is going to add a lot more content. Because so far, it is a very well done game. I know there's been a lot of bad raps on Steam Early Access, though. A lot of it had to do with games such as Rust, where they promised so much and then nothing came about it. Or it had such high potential and the developers just kind of gave up. Now, the deal with Rust is that, I believe it was like, it's been eight months, hackers have completely taken over the game. I mean, there was hackers flying around on on official servers of all places, just one-shotting people, flying, um, god mode. It was a mess. I know one thing I also have added in this game so far is fruits. I mean, your primary source of food is going to be deer. But on all these trees, there's supposed to be some fruit dangling. I just got to find where some fruit is so I can show you fine gentlemen and ladies but oh yeah I am so gonna roleplay the shit out of this game I mean it's it's they say it's supposed to be multiplayer as well um so far it's only single player I doubt they're gonna actually provide a multiplayer aspect if they did, this game will quickly divulge into Rust if there's a PvP aspect. People will be going into different islands, trying to kill each other for their meager offerings. Now, I did see a deer over there, so I need to go ahead and craft myself a bow. If I have... I do. I have enough parts. The hunt is afoot. Release the hounds. Oh, he heard me. Oh, the fucker heard me. Crap, where'd my arrow go? Holy shit, where did he go? God damn, he's fast. Alright. <laughs> now, like I said uh, before, I've always wanted to do one of these kind of videos. I am going to try to... Be quirky, funny, witty. Exasperations. Um, I'm doing this mostly for me. I've always been an introvert. Um, slow to friend people, slow to talk to new people. So I'm hoping that this can be an outlet for me to come out of my shell a little bit. And if not, if it doesn't work out too well in that aspect, well, at least you guys had a little bit of fun watching my videos. laughing at me god damn dear I'm out of arrows son of a bitch alright well that was a crappy start but I'll figure out how to get this deer so I can show you guys get a little bit of pelts get some food well some deer meat it's uncooked because we live like savages, we're pirates. Maybe I'll be able to show you guys. Now I do hope, like I said before, that this developers continue 
providing for this game because I feel it has great potential. I am a huge fan of indie games. I don't quite care for a lot of the big time developers. Um, most folks I feel are not as well. It With a lot of high budget games, they tend to focus more on the graphics and not the content of the game. So, I mean, it's pretty shallow storyline. I mean, a good example of that would be Call of Duty. I know I'll probably get flamed f like hell for that. But Call of Duty had a lot of graphics, not a lot of storyline. The storyline seemed like it was written by George Lucas. The um, indie games, they focus more on content and fun. That's one of the reasons why Minecraft was so successful, but on the flip side, Minecraft was unprecedented. Most games out there had complete linear storyline, and then along came Minecraft. It's just like, here you go, here's this world, do whatever you want to do. And everyone lost their fucking shit! But we can't complain. We love it. We love Minecraft. And there's been so many clones of Minecraft out there now. And I am not doing good at all. Well, I cannot find any of the arrows I've shot. So this deer is going to live to fight another... Oh, nope. I spoke too soon. I have one arrow, and I didn't even make this count. Now, I saw two deer. I hope this is the deer I've been shooting at. It is. Oh, thank God. You get some deer guts. You can fish for food. Some deer meat. I haven't tried fishing just yet. I don't know how well that's going to work. I need to know how to craft it, though. That's my problem. Unless I'm blind, I cannot see how to craft. I don't have any regular wood anyway. Oh, well. Onwards to the next island, because that's what we do in this game. It's just constant travel. But I want you to take notice. Uh, take notice of the the ocean waves. See how it's just kind of small right now. It slowly gets bigger as you get further out. And this island up here already has campfires, and that means that there's pirates up here. Pirates that need their booty stomped. For I have come to plunder their booty. Not on the poop deck. You do that kind of stuff below deck. If you get my drift. But never on the poop deck. Travel up here. Try to find this pirate. Pirates. With an S. See, if this was a Minecraft clone, like right now, there would probably be some kind of creeper somewhere. Just hissing away at me. All stalker mode like. Sure is a nice physique you have there, Amora. Would be a shame if something was to happen to you. Sir. And I'm out of arrows. Because we can use pickaxes as weapons. Man, he took a lot out of me.
you don't have to Oop, my bad but you don't have to sit there and eat food to regenerate health you can rest oh and it's night time fuck my life Like I said, there's not the only kind of monsters thus far have been pirates. Um, at night, spiders will appear, which I f fucking hate. I I have two fears in this life: heights, which also translates to airplanes, and spiders. And it seems like every game has to have giant fucking spiders. Just piss me off. I should just become like the Indiana Jones of video games, just never play. He hates snakes. I hate spiders. It's always got to be spiders. Now, I have heard some mysterious voices before out here, and every time I hear it, it freaks the fuck out of me. And my, my hair, I wish you could see me, my hair will stand up. It is scary as hell. It's like a a banshee's wailing cry. I wonder. You hear it towards the ocean a little bit. I wonder if I can get it to come out. Look how detailed that moon is. I'm not finding it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. If you guys would be so kind as to lock, lock in a comment or a like, I would be much appreciated. This is my first video ever doing one of these kind of things. I hope to continue it on some more. I just need some feedback on what I can do to improve my videos and provide better entertainment for you as well. Um, if you want to take out, check out Salt... And like I said, it is on the Steam Early Access. If you are uncomfortable with that, I will continue to provide videos for you to see how this game progresses on. And until we meet next time, I will see you and all my other videos, I hope. Toodaloos.